गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर इन ए वी एस वन एंड दिस चैप्टर इज बेस्ड ऑन योर साइंस बुक द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज एनवायरमेंट एंड अस नाउ वॉट डज एनवायरमेंट मीन्स दैट मीन्स द सराउंडिंग इन विच वी आर लिविंग इन दिस सराउंडिंग वी फाइन मैनी लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स दैट आर प्रेजेंट सो दिस मेक्स एन एनवायरमेंट in which we survived that is living world survive in this environment and what are things are the part of this environment this we are going to study in this particular chapter so let's begin with the explanation in this part of the video we are going to study what is deforestation deforestation means how the plants are being cut down for making different facilities available to human world and how this environment getting polluted day by day with the use of number of vehicles and with the smoke emitting with the vehicles as well as from the industries and how harmful it is for all the living world that are present on the earth this part of slide you can see a few questions that are given we need to answer for these questions with the help of the questions given below explain what would happened if forest are cleared on a large scale that is if deforestation takes place that what is going to be results in future and how we are going to face these consequences students you can refer your textbook page number 89 for these question question number 1 is will water and food sources for living things grow or dwindle dwindle means decreasing why answer if forests are cleared the amount of rain will become less and the amount of food required will dwindle question number 2 will the living things look for shelters elsewhere or stay on why answer the living things will look for shelter elsewhere if forest is cleared because forest is their home now third question is will the space occupied by the plants and animal increase or decrease why answer is the space occupied by the plants and animals will decrease because forest that is cleared will be used for other purpose now question number 4 is will the number of living things increase or decrease why answer the number of living things will decrease because forests provides food shelter and water deforestation the population of the world is now close to 600 crore man is developing new technology to meet the needs of all these people and is using up more and more land and water resources for this purpose open spaces are required on a very large scale for agriculture housing industry and for building roads and railways forests are cut down to make place for them marshy or low lying areas are filled to reclaim the land the environment provides shelters to different kinds of living things there are many types of plants in forest birds build their nest in trees animals like the bear deer monkey elephant tiger all live in the forest they find shelter in a forest all their needs are met in the forest if forests are reduced biodiversity is also depleted
now the next point is pollution we now and then hear this word pollution in the earlier chapter also we have studied about pollution that is air pollution and noise pollution now today we are going to study about water pollution we all have studied about water pollution you have seen how water sources get polluted if waste water is let into them without processing waste water is also given out from factories into their surroundings if water from such polluted sources keep soaking into the soil the soil becomes infertile chemical fertilizers and pesticides are used on a large scale for agriculture due to the several such reasons water and soil get polluted this is dangerous for the plants and animals there their number reduces and eventually they die out altogether that is they become extinct fuel is used in all homes besides there are big industries and factories in which fuel is used in great quantities on the one hand tremendous quantities of carbon dioxide enter the air due to burning of fuels on the other hand due to large scale deforestation the number of trees available for absorbing this carbon dioxide is dwindling again dwindling word is came dwindling means decreasing as a result the proportion of carbon dioxide in the air is rising continuously when the proportion of carbon dioxide in the air arises arises means bad jana increase hona it leads to rise in temperature we see such a temperature rise in all parts of the world besides when fuels are burnt in vehicles they give out certain poisonous gases as well as smoke industries also let out some poisonous gases into the air this leads to air pollution on a very large scale so as a part of this earth it is it is a duty to preserve our environment so in this part of the video we have learnt that how we are affecting our earth that is going to be a difficult situation for us in future so we need to understand and accordingly we need to find the solution to the problem thank you my dear children for watching the video we will continue the next points in the next video